And so here are two portable DVD players which really suck. And uh, it's the optic laser that sucks on these things. Um, I will show you a demonstration with this DVD. As you can see, hopefully, this disc is pretty damn clean. We'll start playing it in this audio box first. Now, you'll, you'll uh, probably laugh at what's on this DVD when it starts playing. <laughs> But we'll see how long it plays for. Yep, see, big guy. Hopefully, I, uh, his images aren't subject to copyright. Because I gotta play a little bit of this so you can see it. Okay, here it is. I've received about a thousand emails from people asking Just wait for it. of this product and uh, if I was going to review it. And I think that's kind of like asking if the sun's gonna rise tomorrow. Of course, I'm gonna review it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we go. Let's get the official seals. It'll happen. Well, at first glance, it certainly looks very convincing. Actually, you know what? Let's have a closer look. I can already hear the optics laser starting to mess up. So it's in a little box here. Obviously, you get a joystick. But I'm going to fast forward to the next chapter. And See how long it takes before it fucks up. So in this episode, I'm going to be restoring this Commodore 64. So you might be wondering, why a Commodore 64? Well, surprisingly, I've never actually restored one before. Sure, I've restored a VIC-20 and a Commodore 128, as well as a 128D <laughs> and a 116, and some of the Commodore PC clones and a bunch of disk drives. I've also done a Color Computer 1 and an Osborne, a Compact Portable, a Bell & Howell, an IBM PC Junior, along with the monitor, uh, a Macintosh. There it goes. Goes with that. Now it's starting to mess up. Razer XT, a Macintosh Plus, and an Apple IIc, and so on. Okay, so I think you get the idea. I've restored quite a few. And it usually gets worse as it actually, actually plays more. So I guess it's time to restore one. Um, this particular Commodore 64, along with this Big 15. Look at that. It was so bad it skipped to the next chapter. Look, now there's no sound. Look at that. The optics is pretty much messed up on this thing. I put the mic to the uh, thing, see if you can hear it. Not sure if you can hear that. But, oh look it, let's see where it went now. Let's see if it went back to chapter one. Because there's five chapters on this disc. Yep, back on chapter one. Hey, here it is. I've received about a thousand emails from people asking if I was yep, going to review one. product. And uh, if I was going to review it. And I think that... So, yeah, that has uh, some pretty bad issues. And it has nothing to do with the disc. Now, oh, and make matters worse for this thing, it's only audio in the left speaker. The right one doesn't even work. And yes, there's a right speaker in it. It's not, it's not a mono unit. And uh, so, now this one pretty much does the same thing. I just don't know when or how quickly it does it, but let's see. Uh, let's see. This pretty much has the same friggin' fate as this one. And I don't have a remote for this one, so I'm trying to use my old phone. Look at this. It's acting as if the disc is completely screwed up. Here it is. Wow. Oh, and look at this. Doesn't work. That works. Let's go ahead and get started. 
started. Look at how bad this is. Oh, look it, and now it skipped the next chapter because of how friggin' lame it is. So the stop button doesn't work. Hello, and welcome back to the 8 bit guy. So in this episode, play and pause we'll work. Restoring this Commodore 64. I don't so even know if those work. Why a Commodore 64? Look at Ford. Well, next works. Previous does not want to work. So some buttons on this thing don't even work. And a friggin' speaker on that one doesn't work. And they both cannot even play a goddamn DVD. <sighs> I don't know. Look at that. Unbelievable. So, yeah. Both DVD, portable DVD players, are shit. <laughs> so, pretty sad, but... Cheap ass, cheap ass. Those both are not very good brands. But hey, I got them for free long time ago. And yeah, so. And I'm assuming because the charge light keeps flashing that the battery is actually in it. Because <laughs> this has been sitting for quite a while. I don't even know what the battery... It feels like it's the battery's in it. It feels heavier. This one, though, has a detachable bulky battery in the back there. So, yeah. Anyway, two crappy DVD players. Rock on.